hey everyone welcome to coding simplified channel and in this video we'll see that how we can enable or disable the hot reload options from the visual studio so many times it happens like by default it is always enabled so let's say uh, if you are launching the application so currently like i have uh, this uwp application where in this uwp application i'm just showing one image now let's say if i don't want this right so this is called as hot reload option now this is basically in general for the debugging it's very helpful like if you see it's giving all the options like go to live visual tree then again we can select the element and uh, we can it, it will show the display layout add errors and whatnot right so basically the point is that sometime if you want it right you may want to uh, you may always want this so that uh, you know it will help you in the debugging or sometime you don't want this because you don't want to see it every time it is launching right so what you can do for this uh, like here in the debugging section uh, we can we can stop this for now and then in the debugging in the tools option you can go here you will go in the options and here in the debugging section in the debugging section you can see this option hot reload so currently this option is enabled like you can see uh, enable xml hot reload because if you see when we launch the app this is actually the ui is all about the xml right so it is saying the enable xml hot reload and then here it is we have selected all the options like wp wp android and ios and all that so basically let's say if i don't want it at all right so what i'll do i'll disable this and then i'll click on ok right so that is how we can basically make it disabled so like let's say if i have selected this now if i go again and uh, yeah so now you can see that now it is not showing any that hot reload option right and you are uh, it's looking like basically if you want to get rid of the hot reload so that is how you can do this but let's say if you want to again enable this so again the same options what you have to do you have to go to tools you have to go to options hot reload and you have to again enable this right and again like let's say if you don't want to enable if you want to let's say disable for uwp but you want to make it enable for everyone so what we can do we can just remove from here you from uwp so it means it will not show the hotel load option for the uwp but it will keep showing options for the other one right so that is how we can uh, do this similarly let's say if you want to enable or, or disable other options like let's say enable just my xml in the live visual tree then that is also you can disable this if you don't want similarly we can have this enable in-app toolbar we can turn off selection mode once an element is selected so basically inside the full xml hotel load we can enable or disable the particular option as well right so yeah that's all about that uh, how we can enable or disable the hotel load options and uh, i hope uh, it might have helped you so guys uh, thanks for watching the video and in case you have liked the video please like it and uh, uh, please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you